Hello, welcome to Vampire Hunter Guy. Me tries to beat endgame content. Well, isn't this an all-around unfamiliar sight? What happened to Blue Sonia? It's back to Lee and Tommaso. My face looks terrible with this lighting. I'm <laughs> the audio quality is probably really strange. And we have 9.41 a.m. as our iPhone screen. Um, that is because I'm actually at um, my office. Um, it is after work hours, but I have to hang around here because I'm going to somewhere in the evening nearby here. I didn't want to drive all the way home through rush hour to just drive back. So just so you know, in case for whatever reason any of my <laughs> work employees are watching, I'm not filming during work hours. It is definitely 6 p.m. So... I actually also ran this dungeon earlier this morning. This is going to be Nidhogg Descended. I'm playing multiplayer um, just because I think I might be doing a trying to I'm, I want to try to film a farm team for it later on, maybe on Wednesday or so. Um, so hopefully the by the way, hopefully the audio is not terrible and this isn't too ugly to look at like this. A very like a up it's like mic here. It normally should be down, but. We work with what we got. I'm in a phone booth <laughs> in my office. I'm not going to show you around because <laughs> I don't know if I'll get in trouble for that. So we're playing multiplayer New Talk Ascended. Um, if you were unaware, Amino, the BL form, is a really good sub slash leader for this dungeon because um, she has Dragon Killer VDP, which the boss has a uh, void damage shield. And also she has Dragon Killer and Devil Killers. It could take Devil Killer lanes and the boss is both those types. So I've hopped in with what I thought were randoms. As you can see, I had some trouble finding someone initially. Um, we're running, the first team has a Kuro Yuri slash Dark Ideal. Cool, fun, weird combo. Shouldn't judge too hard. Um, and the first floor, this is like a familiar uh, kind of floor from Alterina. They're not, they have like a pretty good amount of health, more, health, more than you would think actually. But since they all start with like four, they start with three or four turns of cooldown, then you can, and then with the resolve, the resolve doesn't really matter. And you can in fact use this time to stall. Um, actually, it turned out to be playing with John O'Muffin. Um, I did ping in my Discord server. I was going to play, like, hop into random, and maybe he hopped another time. I don't know. I didn't know he was going to be in there, which is why I clicked nice there. Um, and another reason you probably want to stall is so you can kind of stall out these light, the clouds right there. Because now there's only one turn left, and we have plenty of time to kill Ogre number two. And I think that's when John and Muffin realized that it was me. This is my Amino team. Um, it's like my pretty normal Amino team. This one I used for... I used it for something else with me. I can't remember what it was. Um, yeah. So, go ahead and kill the Ogre. Moving forward. Um, it... I want to say this dungeon is easier and harder in, um, there's aspects that are easier and aspects that are harder um, in multiplayer compared to, oops, sorry about that ping, in multiplayer compared to, um, I don't know, single player. The easy part is, of course, if someone else dies, you don't die, but the, um, and the other easy part is, I think, um, actually, maybe I guess it's just easier. The boss, the final floor boss, as you will see, will have a preemptive um, skill delay, so if you went in solo, you'd probably be skill delayed a little bit. Which doesn't matter too much for an Amino team, as long as you have Inherits on your Aminos. You can just pop them, and she can kill without Enhance, as you will see. John Buffin here apparently had two Aminos, did not know he had two. He has both forms, he is using the other form as a leader. I actually would recommend for this dungeon, personally, using the um, BL form. You don't need the health um, to survive anything in this dungeon. Um, you should be able to well, I guess if you want to go tanky, you can, but killing the last floor, you want a higher multiplier for VDPs generally. Especially because the in Annihilation, this boss has 500 million HP, which is a lot. Um, so I'd recommend this form because it pumps out more damage. This floor is kind of annoying. Um, don't know what to say about it. I'm not very good at like the blindness thing. Um, if you had a Yogg, you could pop... Well, you couldn't pop Yogg because all the orbs are locked. You could unlock the orbs and pop Yogg. That might help you. Because um, then you can differentiate hearts and non-hearts even when they're blinded. If you really want, you could bring a blind resist, but I wouldn't do it in three player. There's a very low chance it'll actually be you going into this floor. It's only like a one third chance. Um, this part might be boring, so I actually might want to skip ahead. Skip. 
think we just kind of stalled out a lot of the blinds. <laughs> did I even skip forward very far? <laughs> I don't know if I did. Oh, I did. No, I didn't. We didn't skip forward, like, at all. Skip. Skip. So I went through... Oh, I guess I killed it. Didn't... Don't remember that I did that. <laughs> I think I was trying to match the poisons at the bottom, which I did. Because my team has decent recovery with... Even though I just have a couple of blue subs. By the way, blue is what you need for a BL Amino to have a good recovery multiplier. Next we come to an Ai Nai, who has a status shield and a resolve, and she makes a nice heart of bombs. It's not nice at all, it's kind of lame. So the Dark Ideal, a board change is a great way to avoid that. Full jammer resist if you really want to, but a board change for 3 player is probably the best choice. You can't really rely on resist awakenings in 3 player, um, since if it's not your turn, they don't count. I think a lot of the spots in here have several have somewhere in the tens tens of million health range, like 50 million, 70 million, 40 million, that kind of range. And the last boss, again, I believe, has 500 million. You can look up on Padex. It'll be there. So I think John Muffin is going to get the kill here pretty easily. Um, he just has to connect, I believe, what? I don't know how many has to connect. Actually, that many. <laughs> I think the max multiplier, you want to connect more, actually. I believe it's you have to connect nine orbs of a certain color, but I can't remember. Um, I think, what do I do here? I don't remember what I do. I realized that was the wrong, I, I think I, I had my skills turned off because I've been um, farming Remdras since yesterday, or I was farming the beach Remdras and stuff, so I made skills off. I realized, oops, Tifa removes hearts and there's still a resolve, so I ended up popping Amino after. But I guess we got a shield for some time, which ended up being pretty useless. <laughs> Went for the VDP for extra damage. Dead eye and die. Cool. And you'll see the shield is actually pretty useless because this guy starts off with a tur two turn cooldown. Um, or a two turn um, time timer thing. In two turns is what his next move is. And he'll continue being like that for the first 50% of his health. Uh, my recommendation for this dungeon this is to just one-shot him. You can delay him if you want to. He has no status shield until you hit him below 50. Um, if you hit him below 50%, you do like the time change thing and just make it his turn immediately. Um, so I would just one-shot. He doesn't even have a resolve, so it's not a very difficult BDP. Um, if you don't do that, he does like to make full boards of jammers and stuff, as I think you'll see. Um, since I got skill delayed, I actually didn't have any actives to pop to grant a VDP, so we didn't actually kill for a little bit. So we got to see a little bit of what he does when he being Nidhogg, which is his boss, what he does when he is above that health threshold, or above his lower th hold, health threshold. <sighs> Found him up and making some combos again. This guy has a lot, a lot of um, HP. He has 500 million, the other floors have 75 million, 50 million, 35 million, 40 million, all a good amount of HP. The sands are getting more and more HP, which I guess is good for power creep. So we could have more challenge. Let's see if anything happens. So maybe I'll skip forward a bit. Skip, 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 skip. It's my turn. I don't think I did anything. Just matched. He makes this board um, sometimes full jammers with poison, sometimes full jammer. I and I also want likes to make full poison boards if you don't kill her immediately, so just watch out for her, um, which was the floor previous to this, so maybe bring some jam resist, spore changes, stuff like that. As I recall, um, John O'Muffin uh, does a VDP of light. He does have the sub Amino, which will do some good damage. However, It was not quite enough, as it turns out. Um, I think LB Amino just... I think believe for ma the multiplier is like times 13 or times 12 or something. Somewhere in that range. Times 13-ish personal damage. Or, or over, not personal damage, overall multiply for B, BX Amino, sorry. The tanky Amino. Um, which I think is why I would recommend um, using the 
BL Amino for the higher multiplier. And then you get two of them too, so they're both doing BDP. So you really don't need Enhance. You don't, you don't need a Spike. You don't even need Orb Enhance, um, which is... I would have Wedding Akajit here if I had not gotten Skill Delay to Enhance my Light Orbs. But it wasn't needed, and... I know it's not on video, but I swear I played some of the other dungeons other ways and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure, um, and I've seen some videos actually, so I know that double BL Amino does not need a spike to one shot. This is the boss. Um, in terms of uses of Nidhogg, he actually um, has a bit of a Mimi system team. If you you can like farm a one in like a some of the arena early arenas and stuff like that with uh, if you have four of him. He is a haste active. Oh, I used Ange's um, Amino, so thanks Ange, because um, it had double devil killers. And yeah, he's using some kind of system team. Um, you can try to look it up on YouTube. Um, I'm not going to make a video, video on it because it's a little bit meme -y, a little bit unnecessary. Amino herself can farm arena perfectly well, so... Yeah, so that's it for this video. Also, it takes a lot of... I think it's like a 30... You have to skill it up like a bunch of times, and you need to you would need to have four, and that's a lot to ask for. But it was, it's a fire-based row team kind of meme team. Um, Nidhogg provides a lot of fire rows, that's why. So that's it for this video. Um, we have a maintenance tomorrow, so watch out for that. We don't know if it's going to be D-meta coming, or I don't know what it is. We're not sure. Hopefully Super God Fest would be nice, but I don't think it's going to be that. Um, I believe it starts Tuesday at 6 p.m. Um, server time. So make sure, go check Facebook for that. Make sure you're not, you used up all your stamina and open your mail and stuff before that. And that's for this video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye. Oh, I have to click the button.